Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And as was commented in the last video, yes, it is very satisfying to watch all the machines go around like this. The clouds go and drop their loads off and the conveyors doing their things and the little conveyors splitters there and all that stuff for a crate trans uh, crate transporters. Anyway, uh, to, yeah, today, uh, as you can see, I have been around for a bit. I have almost $2 million cash. I'm actually going to pause this because we're going to do some changes today. Uh, we do have 563,000 research and a research pays are full. So there's 58,000, 58,000, 58,000, 116,000. 91 and another 42 now that's good because we're going to need a lot of research because today we're going to do this right now we're going to unlock the trains now the trains they do actually use silos to uh, fill up the cars uh, it just says the silo itself holds 16 crates uh, i don't know how much the trains themselves carry but we'll find out uh also too apparently the entry points require power so that means we're gonna have to get another power plant up and running today which is good because we have money uh we are going to be doing some changes over here and we're actually going to do this first because uh we can make so get so much more efficiency here and i was realizing this after i done the last episode that i don't need these tanks i don't need the connectors i don't even need all these crate makers i don't need the conveyors i don't need anything because i have the connectors that's it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wipe everything out well, not everything. This is all going to stay here. Uh, we're going to try to get some more production coming off of this tank too here because we're going to have some room. Uh, that means the claws are going to be changing. And so what I basically want to do is I want to compact the size of the combiners. If I can get two or even four more in a smaller area, I will. Um, and then what we're going to do is basically have everything connected where the combiners have connectors on either side for the iron and the coal. And then the output on the green, because we still have, uh, that's the wrong button, still have the green connector. And then that will be going to another tank, which would be fueling crate makers. And the crate make, well, fueling, not only fueling, fueling crate makers, but it'll also be supplying a train line that's going to go to supply tanks, which is going to be uh, loading up the trains, which will be replacing this road. So let me uh, clear some stuff out. We'll see how much money we have, and then we'll start building. Okay, there we go. We have a huge open space, and we have about a million dollars cash, or a million dollars extra cash. Uh, I took out the extra rail lines too, because we don't actually need them anymore. And I'm think I was almost thinking about this. I might I was thinking about upgrading this to a larger tank, which we could do. In fact, let's do that. So we'll go ahead and take all this stuff out. And I just got to remember that this tank here that I'm placing in is going to be uh, the supply tank. And then what I'll do for this is let's actually use that one. And then we'll place another one over here. And we could put our uh, unload station like so, because I believe four apart. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll take that out and we'll just put another conveyor there. Yep, and let's step conveyor and then another unload. And then we can go back to our big old tank here. And then just make sure that, that the connection ports are on the step conveyor and not the transfer to, uh, unload station. Okay, there's that one there, and we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, what I'll do too is, because I was having a surplus of iron, I was running out of coal. So while we're here, let's actually double up. We'll oh, double up both of these. I'm thinking about adding some more iron to the end here. So we'll do that. We'll get to our conveyors, which, how did I do? How was I doing this? Uh, I don't think it really matters. We'll do that, and then I gotta. Switch the other one, one line like that, like so. And then I need two, ro oh, actually, I need one of these first a transfer claw. Not transfer claw, what is this thing called? No, oh, it is a transfer claw. I got something right for a change, and we'll skip every one. Okay, and 
refiner. This time I gotta make sure I place them the right way. I don't know if I had mentioned that in the last video, but I had basically goofed. Alright, hold on, what am I doing here? Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, let's actually bring this down a little bit more. So we have a little bit of a buffer. Okay, and like that. Place, not that one. That one there. Another one of these here, and then another transfer claw. And this one doesn't have the skip, because that's just going back onto this main line, which goes into here. And I'll do the same thing on the other side, and you get the connect tank connected, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so there we go. Now we gotta set the tanks. So this one we're gonna it's gonna be the cool, we'll make that blue. We'll make this one yellow. And so now we just gotta get the combiners in. Uh yeah, so I got the basically the same setup on the other side. We have six refineries going. Uh I might have to get two more off the iron here, but uh let's go ahead and start placing combiners down. This should be fairly simple. Uh, hmm. I guess we do it all at the back here. Let's leave some room here. Uh, basically, I need a block space on either side and one in the front. So I can go one there, two, three, four, five. And then I can just do the same right just like that. Oh, I'll have to move that one. Go back like so. Now the only thing I have to do is wait, is this gonna be right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because the way the connectors work, I'm going to take care of this now. Is uh, the connectors will correspond to whatever transfer tube I have. So if I have the transfer tube going out this way, that means it, this tank will only output through here. So anything that's connected to it should input. Well, that's actually the wrong spot, but you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, the only thing I'm hoping is that I don't actually need the connector. I do. Yes, I do. All right, well then, a slight change in plans. I'm going to have to put a transfer tube in there and go from there. Okay, I had to move move a few things around, namely these refiners on either side to uh, snug them up a little bit. Like I said, I want to leave some room in the back here in case I need to get more of this refining, or in case I want to. And now for the fun part, a whole bunch of these. I like how it doesn't actually allow you output it. So I'm hoping that this should be a no problem. Oh, except the fact that I don't know how to place them one there and then again like so oh that's the wrong spot and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put connectors on all of them have the blue on one side the yellow on the other side and then we're going to put the green in the front okay and then output it's almost like we're making Robots making giant drones to take over our little planet here. Okay, and get rid of that. And now for probably the expensive part because it's going to need 30,000 a piece. Alright, so that's actually the wrong spot. I'll delete that in a second. Nope, no, sell it. Yes, I'm a sloppy builder. Alright, and then we go blue on the other side or Cyan, if you really want to get picky about it. And then, of course, green in the front. And I do have to make a tank for the green. Uh, that's why I want to leave some room in the front. And look at that, we actually have less, have more money than when we started. Okay, get rid of that one. And where was the other misplace? Right there. Okay, so now we need to get another tank in. And I don't know if I'm going to have room for this now. Because I only have one tank of one co uh, the color. So I couldn't put two of these ones in there because that won't work. But there is room. 
Hmm. So I want to get crating going as well. So yeah, I could put it like right here. Tuck it in. Oh, that actually works right there. So if I do that, uh, the train can come in here. Not a problem. You can load up and actually come around this corner, I think. Not the train, uh, the minecart. Uh, oh, that won't work. Hmm. Looks like I gotta move this up a line, so let me take care of that and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. So this should work. Uh, I haven't unpaused it yet, so I haven't seen anything go in. Uh, I'm not going to because just in case things go wrong. I'm sure it'll be fine though. Uh, these are actually empty, that's a, a good sign. Oh, I never set the color on this one. Okay, you are cyan. You are yellow and you will be green. So then everything that comes out of combiners goes into here. And then from there, I'm going to take uh, one of these. I'm going to do that because we're going to have to pipe it out to the, the new train stops once once we place it. That's perfect. It lines up with the door. Hmm. Now it's actually be. Another issue, uh, how am I going to get that in there? Because I'm thinking I want to get three three crate makers off of here. See if we can reset, set this up a little differently here. I guess I could do it this way. Do it, put the small pipe there. Another tank, and then I can get three crate makers coming off of here. Like, uh, yeah, I need more pipes. Ah, always pipes. So, and then I think I can sneak one in here. Uh, yes, in here. That's right. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Except the fact that one actually reached there. Hmm. Ideally, I'd like to get three off of here. I can get one there, I can get one there. Can't get one off of here, though. Let me see what I can work out. Okay, that's short. So, yeah, I'm just going to come up the side here and go up top. And then from here, I should actually be able to get enough of these on here. Because they don't take up too much space. I'm wondering if I can actually get this in here. I can. Perfect. So we can get one there, get one here, and another one here. As soon as I put the transfer pipes on, ha ha ha. Yeah, that's the only drawback to that. Put that off of there. And back to you. No, not you. Wrong one. Trust me, I really do know how to play this game. Okay, there we go. So now we just get some conveyors going. Simple enough, we go like that, and uh, hmm, I'll we'll just bring it to here for now, and we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the the crates in a second because we're gonna be going to the trains next. So, I believe everything should be running. Well, let's see what happens. And look, oh, uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to say, look, they're working where they were. Oh, there we go. Slowly filing in. It's taking a sweet time. Alright, well, that's gonna slowly work its way in. I'm, like I said, I might have to get a few more in, but that won't be an issue because they. We're producing enough, so anyway, let's go over here and see what we can do about the about the, the train. Now the train is going to need silos or holding tanks. Let's actually see how wide the, the, the track actually is. Okay, and then this goes over top of the track. Let's have a look at it. And it's got inputs on the sides. 
Okay. I don't think it would be able to be allowed to interfere with the road. Let's have a look at this. Where's a good spot to try this? Actually, I have a section of road here I can test out. <laughs> okay, so it actually crossed the road. That's good to know. Alright, well, uh, let me have a look here and see what I want to do, and I shall return. Oh, look at that, we have steel building up. Oh. Yeah, that was a stupid move. Anyway, I'll be back. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put the entrance there. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to have to check my power situation because I know that's going to use power. And I'm thinking about putting the exit right here. Just have it cross right over the road. And just because. Right? Ooh. Oh, it doesn't have any tighter turn radius. Uh, so do that. And uh, like so. Oh, connect. There you go. Now apparently I have to hook up a pole to this thing. That's kind of kind of odd. And and there goes the grid. <laughs> Called it. That's fine. That's fine, we'll just stick another one right there. Alright. Power is under control. So it adds five. It takes five power for the, the train <sighs> crossing thing of a bobber of a doohickey. Yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna go into here. And I'm assuming we only need one. So I'll do that. And then, you know, I'd like to get a holding tank or two out here if I could, but that might not be a thing. Well, I could do it on the other side. Actually, maybe I should move it down here, because I don't know how long the train's going to be. Well, if it comes in from that side, maybe it should be down here. We can always move it. It's not like we're losing money when, when we take stuff out. Okay, so going like that. I'm going to put a... Actually see where that connector is going to line up on the big tank here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't use the connectors because... Uh, or the remote connectors because they, they're only for inside a factory. So that's going to be a problem. All right. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Okay, this should work. So I put a small tank here. And then we feed into the small tank from the big tank. That's not going to work. I had my math wrong. Okay, yeah, so I can put a three. I put the wrong pipe there. Go to that one. And then a small tank. And supply pipe. And like so. And then it's just a matter of getting the, the mine cards in. Now how am I going to do that? I did not think this route, and I never did. And in fact, it's actually going to be easiest to do it this way. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. So if I do this, I'll just string a bunch of small tanks together. Uh, if I place them in the right spot, now we have a bit of a buffer zone for the minecart to come in, and that should be enough room. Make sure I have enough space between them. Okay. And in pipe, input pipe. Just like that. Alright. Uh, let's see if I'm actually going to be able to get this in here. Ok. 
Yeah, that should work. We're gonna take our little sidestep track, which will not reach. No, I just throw it <laughs> wrong road out. All right, uh, let me figure this out. Uh, I might have to move this back, but I'll bring you back when I fix everything. Okay, so I got it all set up. So yeah, basically, just come over here. It's actually gonna get elevated here just in time because that one block gap was just enough to make this fit. Then it's gonna go over and magically hover over the track. Gonna go underneath the other track, which is super elevated, which is good, and then it's gonna go into there. Uh, what I've decided is I'm gonna leave these two claws on here and these two road stops, I took these other two ones out. Uh, so what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna leave, uh, coming off of these conveyor lines here, I'm gonna just have unload stations, and I'm gonna have the claws actually go pick them up. And let's see, uh, might, as well, might as well go 12 if I can. Let's see, it's uh, 2,500, so I need 30 grand. Uh, I remember when I used to worry about actually spending that kind of money and I got almost well, I got a little over a million and a half but yeah it's still pretty good so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect all these claws back up and I'm gonna put them over top of here and have a pickup stop at the very end and that way one claw will do these two um, let me get over here one claw will these do these two and then one claw will do these two and hopefully with the train we should be able to get more production Another thing we can do too pretty soon, as long as the research keeps building up, is we can get into waterworks. And the waterworks will not only get us better efficiency out of some of these miners, like uh, this one here, the iron could be, could use a little more iron, it could use more gold. Uh, and then we can get into farming, which we're going to need other things, we got to start researching crude oil. And farming just means we can start making grain meal and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, we will need that for, to unlock other stuff, like uh, to get the cargo rocket. We'll need to have ethanol, capacitors, gold fuel, and steel plates. We've already researched, been researching steel plates, but we get into like gold fuel is gold and coal, which is interesting. There was, uh, what was the other one? Capacitors, which is gold and iron. And what was the other one? Uh, there was another we were supposed to research. Ethanol. Oil and red, red grain. And that red grain is red grass through a refinery to get red grain. Yes, rabbit holes. Gotta love them. Anyway, uh, let me get these claws hooked up and I shall return. Okay, that is done. So yeah, I got them separated. So these two are on the far back one. These two are in the middle one. And these two over here are on this one. So now I just got to get our maximum number of claws. Make sure that they're all on here. Okay, there's that one. Uh, you have your 12, and you have your 12. Good. All right, so now it's a matter of getting the cards, uh, the mine cards. Uh, let's go... Uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, a funny one. If, you, if I place it, if I place the first mine card here, it'll only let me place like two. So I have to go over here. And let's try six for now. Okay, that should be it. Uh, make sure everything is good to go so we don't have any issues. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a bit of an issue right there. Uh, besides that, that's coal. Okay, well, it is getting through. I'm surprised it was actually getting through. Uh, apparently, I don't actually have an output on this. There we go. Uh, does that should work. All right, now let's see if we have any catastrophic failures. So where is this train? I don't know how often these trains come. Uh, is there anything else I was supposed to put down? Nope. That is it. This is filling up. That is good. Okay, so I can get two more on there if I need to. 
this is actually filling up pretty quick. I like that. And at the same time, too, it's uh, producing the crates which are going out by trucks. Now I want to see how much room I have because I was limited by the refiner there. I can get one more, I think. So now the question is, where is this train? Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Shows your progress bar. All right, well, we're going to have a see our first train here pretty quick. It's going to be pretty cool. Now, I'm hoping that these will be able to build up fast enough for these claws to get a full load. I don't think that these two will, but the last one will. And here comes our first train. So we got six in there, six in all of them. It evens it out. That's interesting. You can see the whistle. All right, let's see how much this actually takes. See, I can't get any stats on it. <laughs> yeah, I made it really is pretty cool. I hope it's doing more than just like one at a time. Okay, so it's got four cars. I uh, can't actually upgrade the cars themselves. Can upgrade the time at three hundred thousand. Wow, that has better be a big payday. As far as I'm concerned, the trucks can wait for this load. It's kind of weird that the tanks themselves haven't actually gone down. All right. Let's see how much we get out of that. Let's get our numbers up. 81, 84. Wow. That was really good. That was... That was like 900. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Yeah. That was a nice big payday there, so... Yeah, we're definitely going to be getting an upgrade into that. Let's uh, go check out research. I did not mean to do that. That's me hitting space. I'm so used to using space to go up when I got to use my mouse wheel on that. So let's see what we're doing here. We are... Uh, we got some research. That's fine. Uh, I love that train. That is so cool. That was a big payday, too. That was like... Uh, what was it? It was like 150 grand for the entire load, where one truck only gets me like 8,000, somewhere around there. That's cool. So, yeah, definitely gonna have to get some upgrades to the trains. Uh, like I said, it's 300,000 on that. The trucks, I'm not gonna be too worried about now. Not quite a full load, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's see how the numbers are doing. Okay, we just started at 6,700, but we were doing some changes so things might not be 100% efficient. I'd like to get another crater on here if I could. I know I call it a crater, it's a crate maker, but that's that's besides the point. Getting it out by train I think is more important. Okay, uh, we are running low on everything. I might have to get some more stuff being uh, connected to the system. It looks like iron's the bottleneck right now. We've got plenty of coal. Which means I might have to get another refiner in here. Now, I think I can actually get squeeze one more in here. Let's actually try that. See if it'll actually work. Because I think there'll be enough space. Just the way these are, are laid out. Hmm. Need one more block. Let's tr let me try something here. Okay, that wasn't gonna work, but let's try something else. Uh, let's take uh, one of those. And we'll throw a crate maker on the end of it, and then we'll do another conveyor switch here. Ah, conveyor split. You know what I mean. Like so, let's get a transfer claw. 
Let's skip everyone, please. Thank you. And we get two refiners. Now, what I want to see is, first of all, get some conveyors down so I actually can act like I know what I'm doing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go that way. And I'm going to go that way. And yes, I'm using the bend. I'm not actually rotating it. And yeah, unload station. One there and one there. And then what I'll do is uh, whenever I have something like this set up where I don't actually have a buffer, I've been uh, destroy all crates turned on just in case it, uh, a full crate gets there, it backs up the whole system. Uh, usually it should take it off, but sometimes it doesn't. But anyways, I want to see if we, I can do something like this. And let's see here, this is iron, so that is going to be the yellow tank. I want to see if that will actually feed into the system. So when it comes out, it gets sucked up into the pipe, it just goes right back into the big tank there. Uh, let's actually give that a test, see what it does. Make sure this actually works. I know a watch, watch pot never boils, or in this case a watch refinery never refines. And it works. Okay, uh, let me uh, get a few more set up and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I uh, did the same thing on the coal side here. I was almost thinking about doing the same setup here, just having it going right, right into the tank through the connector, so we're not worrying about conveyors. But ah, it's always good to have conveyors. So let's make sure that this side is working. I'm sure it is. Let's bring that up so we can see our our contents. Which is probably going right into the the refiners, anyways, or the com combiners so those should be filling up so I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and I'll bring you back when uh, when everything's moved a little bit better I thought you would bring you back for another train I gotta admit I really do like that oh, the train wheels don't really touch the track I like that, that's really cool. I like to know exactly how much your train is sending out. It's almost like it's... It's hard to say, because... You know what I mean? The tanks are all... Equalizing. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually get two of these loaders set up, because it's going to stop at the first one and load it up like it's doing. Uh, but that's fine. It takes a little while, because it's moving a lot of goods. And I was a little concerned that maybe these weren't actually connected. I was thinking about maybe putting transfer pipes down, connecting them, but I don't think that would actually work anyways. Okay, it's definitely sucking it up. There's nothing in there. There is nothing in here. But the combiners seem to be filling up. They're just chewing through it so fast, right? Like These ones are starting to get a, a bit of a stockpile. The other ones... Uh, not so much, but it is rolling. Let's actually let's see how the numbers are doing. It's actually pretty good. I think we might break twelve thousand. Uh, the trucks are not getting full loads. That's fine. I know there's uh, something I can use for getting the claws to wait for full loads, but eh, I don't know how that would work. Uh, yeah, there's gate here. But that's the thing, like, if you put that somewhere, let's say, here, it says it needs a minimum number of crates to go through. Does that mean it just goes back and then comes back forward, or or what? I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Look at all that steel. Hmm. We need more craters going, I think. More crate makers. I don't know where I'd even get one set up. This one's doing pretty good, but that's going all the way down here, too. Yeah, we're not going to quite make 11,000. We're going to have to definitely get an upgrade on this train system. But let's go check our research. I'm lost. We've got tons of research here. 
All right, do that and that and grab all this good stuff. And I almost wanna do the upgrade for a train first. Because five seconds apparently is quite a while. I know we need 600,000 for waterworks. Uh, let's see what else we need. Yeah, we gotta get into the waterworks. Which we can do because I've been researching the gold. And that'll get us an A, uh, less power usage per for our factories. So we'll save us money. As you can see, uh, it's saying 10% and that can... Oh, okay, it's... It only does the, the one ten but I, for some reason I was thinking it was like stackable. But no, that just means I need ten water for that. Doesn't say how much water this output outputs, but uh, we'll probably have to go with that route because we got to get to the farming anyways, and we're gonna need water for the farming. I can almost guarantee you that. So with that, I think it might be a good time to call it. Watch that train go by again. Really. Yeah, you better move. At least we don't have to worry about traffic. There's only traffic jam we'll ever get. Look at that. Maybe we're getting 36,000 per car. 36,000. Sixteen. So, yeah, so it's 64 steel goes out in that train every load, which is really good. Which is almost worth uh, 300,000 research points to upgrade. But anyways, I think we're going to call this episode here. Uh, definitely got a lot done. Um, going to have to figure out what I'm going to be able to do with this. You know, it's definitely going to get this side going a little bit faster. If I can, I don't know how I would do that. Uh, basically, all my connections are kind of tied up at the moment. But we'll figure it out later. I might. I'm sure there's something I can work out. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.